All right, in this video, I'm going to walk through the Dogglers uh, app. So it's a project in the layout section of the Android Kotlin training, uh, yeah, Android's official training. Let's see. So yeah, this is the code lab, but um, so it's just, here's the app overview. So the first page is a screen that lets you click vertical, horizontal, or grid layout, and then so yeah, this is the vertical uh, list layout, and then this is the horizontal list layout, and this is the grid layout. And yeah, so next. Yeah, so to get started, you'll just go to this URL, and they tell you how to download the code. I'll leave the link to this in the description, as well as the training. I mean, if you're seeing this, you probably <laughs> already went to training maybe, but yeah. If not, I'll leave it there either way. So they're saying to download it, uh, click download zip and then click open. I usually use git from VS VCS. Just copy the link, the either link HTTPS or SSH. And yeah, they're just kind of showing you the uh, how the pro project is structured. So they have adapter, so it is using a recycler view and the layout. Oh, these are just, oh yeah, they're just different uh, layouts referenced. And then data source is a list of um, dogs to show. And the dog model is the data class for the dog. And then they have the different activities for it, for each screen. And then, uh, so yeah, each layout. So the first part, um, is to implement the layout. So each layout has an image view, a text view, and three text views with the dog's name, age, and hobbies. And they have um, like a base, a basic layout for you already. But yeah, we'll be impl implementing this layout first. And yeah, we need to do the layout first um, so we can finish the adapter for the recycler view. So yeah. Um, yeah, I'll start with this one, the vertical horizontal list item. To find a class fast, um, or <laughs> any file fast, I guess you could say, and then in Android Studio, you can click um, Shift three times, and then it's there. You just click Enter. It'll go there either way. Um, the second one, yeah. So I don't care about the design <laughs> at the moment. It'll take a, lo a little while to load up, and so. Yeah, so they have instructions here, but it, well, it doesn't give you all of the instructions because it doesn't tell you which margins to use. And yeah, so yeah. So yeah, this is for the horizontal and a uh, vertical list layout. So yeah, we'll do image view and the width. Oh, since this is, is <laughs> sorry, I can't talk. So since this is a constraint layout to make it span the whole width, we have to use uh, zero DP. And uh, for the height, they want 194 DP. You can just copy this. And you can put this in a resources folder, uh, dimensions resource folder, but I'll just leave it like this for now. Um, yeah, what else? Scale type. A center crop, that's what they mentioned. Image view. So we can either set this um, margin here with the image view or with the name text view. I think we should just do it with the image view. And then they also want to add the top, right? So we'll do um, margin bottom. Uh, get to it. And then ADP. And then we'll just do start of. Uh, wait, top. Top to the top of uh, the parent. Which is the constraint layout. Um, and yeah, we'll do the start, which is the left side, <laughs> to the start of uh, the parent as well. Which 
Oh, I think I just did that wrong. Okay, so that's the image view. We can see it here. So yeah, that's how it looks at the moment. And then, so, yeah, we'll close that real quick. Kind of make these the same size. Well, actually, I'll just leave the code open because I'm recording this anyways. So we'll create the three text views. And so the first one needs to spend uh, the whole width of the screen. So we'll use zero DP. This so we'll just use wrap content here. And then, uh, well, oh, we need to give this ID. We need to give each view ID. So just have ID. Once it pops us, press enter twice, and then just give it the name you want. So I'll just do image view. I'll just copy this. I'll just do name view, I guess. Um, well, I use the same right thing right here. So we also want it to start at the left, of course, start to the start of the parent. And it needs margin start, which is the left. The identity pixels. And then the margin bottom, which I believe is like, I don't know, 16. Okay. And I'll just put this right down here. We need to put this the top to the top of the image view. Okay, and then, um, is that it? Let's double check. This is the text view. I would stop to the bottom of, yeah, yeah, that's right. So it'll be under the image view. Yeah, okay. Then we could just copy this twice for the age and hobby. Uh, and I can't type today. Okay. And then this will be, we'll just use wrap content. So we'll do that for both of them. I guess I'll name this hobbies view. Oh man. And then, so this will be margin and, uh, and then this will be, I think that's just eight and two pixels. There. Yeah, I'll just copy that. All right, so yeah, the age view will be under the image view. I mean, the name view. So we'll put both the hobbies view and we'll do end to the start of the parent for the or the end to the end of <laughs> what am I thinking? The parent. Okay, yeah. And screen that to the bottom of the name. So they both will be under the name view. I know that's kind of weird, but yeah. And yep, that should be good. And then we can pretty much copy this for the grid item, grid list item. So I'll shift three times to search for the file. And then let's go to the code. Should tell us. Let's go back to this. So if we look at this, it's the same. So the only thing is all of them are on their own line. So the width will be zero DP. But we still need that margin and, but we don't need this to be they all need to be the start of the start of the parent. So just the hobbies view was really the change. So, oh, 16 to two pixels under the age as well. So margin bottom. I don't remember how to say the text appearance. Okay, there it goes. And line six. So we need to do this for the other list items. We'll text appearance body one for the age view, which I should have this. I don't want to separate the 
width and the height, but body one. So let's just copy this for the name. And then for the age, we'll copy this text appearance. And then, uh, yeah, that should be good. So what else? So they're kind of going over what we need to do for the um, adapter. They're saying we need to set the lists, uh, which they're saying initialize the data using the list found in the data source. Just this, a list of already defined um, dog objects. And so the dog objects are inst instances <laughs> of the data class dog, which has a drawable resource. Um, and then a name, age, and hobby string. And then, yep. Okay. I think they give us most of this in the comments. Yeah, I'll just get straight to it. So, type adapter. Okay, here it is. So, initialize the data using the list found in the data source, which, let's look at the data source. See, it's just a list of dogs. So, command E to go back to the <laughs> latest screen or I'm on Mac at least so anyways so we'll do private val dog list on uh, list of dogs I'm just li listing the type <laughs> just for clarity um, or I put dogs dog and then of course you need to import that I have a setting that does that already um, yeah, and then so it'll be the data source dot docs. What else? Initialize the element. So let's do the image view, which is the image view view found by ID. Uh, which we defined that already, so do that. Yes, image V. And so I guess yeah we could do this instead. And then we'll do the name view. Uh, these are text views, and then this is, uh, what is the age view? And then, what are, what's the, oh, hobbies view. CTV hobbies. Yeah, that should be good. What else? So, on create view holder is use a conditional to determine the layout type and set it accordingly. So, if the layout variable is a layout grid, the grid list item should be used. Otherwise, the horizontal list item should be used. Okay. So yeah, we can do, so they give us a layout. They, yeah, they pass a layout to the dog adapter. And so we could do um, layout type equals when, um, what is it, layout? And then, so it says if the layout variable is a layout.grid, then we'll just use the, um, Grid list item. So r dot layout dot grid list. Isn't this defined somewhere? Oh no, that's what they passed. Okay, yeah, right, right. And then else we'll just r dot layout the um, vertical horizontal list item. And so we'll inflate the layout 
just to make it, I guess, <laughs> easier to read, I'll do it like this. Um, yeah, so layout inflator from, and it's just the parent dot context. So that's the inflator. So this gives us a layout inflator. Right. And then for the view, we'll get actually inflate that from the layout type so first thing we'll pass is the layout type what's the next thing it wants the root so parent and then just false and then we'll just pass the view here for the get item count dog list dot size Get the data at the current position. Okay, of course. Dog list position. Okay, so we'll do a holder dot apply. So this is we're setting the image view, the text, and all the text views. So uh, we'll do image view dot set image resource or or we'll get it from the dog has it inside the data class and then set the text name so it's name view or dot text equals dog dot name and then age and then hobbies uh, hobbies Oh, so they actually want us to set the hobbies. They have a string, string resources. So yeah, we'll do that. Uh, just put that. So they actually give us this code. Yeah, and that should be it. So I'll just run this. All right. So go to the vertical list. That looks good. All right. Let's go to the horizontal list. So we scroll to the left. That looks good. The grid view. That looks off. So let's see what's wrong there. Oh, they're both under the name view. So this should actually be under the age view. Okay. All right, so that's fixed. Yep. We may want to add a margin start here. Make this look better. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, that's it. So I'll leave a link to this code lab and also the training. You haven't been through that yet, but yeah. So that was just a walkthrough of the Doggler's project. Uh, yep. Thank you for watching.